I'm excited to be talking about Toro versus Ferris today. This is a great one. Yes, I'm a Toro dealer. I've made some comparison videos before. I really try to be not completely impartial to Toro. I started my entire business buying and selling used equipment, so I'm actually really familiar with all the different brands under the sun. This happens to be a trade-in that we've got, so it's not new, bright, shiny, but I wanna use it for the sake of this video. This video, we're gonna talk about Toro versus Ferris. What we're comparing today, I wanna to try to be as apple to apple comparison to, you know, as much as possible. For the Ferris side, I've got a Ferris IS2100Z. This is a used machine. I'm not a Ferris guy. Please, in the comments, let me know what's the newest, latest, and greatest Ferris. This is really close to the top tier of Ferris, maybe one or two notches below that. And by the way, tell me in the comments because I put out some videos. Correction, we're looking at a Ferris that has ZT 4,400 transmissions, not 4,400 CC transmissions. If you're not getting that joke, check out my Toro video, check out the comments I got. Grilled on that. These are ZT 4,400 transmissions to a Toro Z Master 4000 series with my ride suspension. We sell this 2000 series, which is a baseline uh, Z Master, it's a commercial, but it's the most basic of commercials that Toro offers, and this is $9,600. Now, when you jump up to the 4000 series, and in this particular model, this MyRide suspension, this one even happens to have a hydraulic lift deck, this one goes for a price point of more like $14,000 for a cash discount. I, I bet that this is a little bit more expensive than this one, but to me, it's a fair comparison because this has hydro gear, ZT4400 transmissions, as does this. And it's the transmissions that lend the speed with the mower. And so I think that kind of is, is the baseline I like to look at to compare two different brands. This is a great brand, as is the Toro. And I like both of them for a few different reasons. We'll kind of get uh, into the details and let's go for the Ferris first. So the Ferris IS2100Z, what makes a Ferris a Ferris? To begin with, it's the shock system. And this is what I love about Ferris is you have a shock on every single wheel and it gives you an absolutely premium grade suspension compared to other things that are out there. So that's why I really like Ferris mowers. Another thing that I really like about Ferris is the stance. Generally speaking, when you're sitting on these machines, you sit up a little bit higher. I'm a big guy, I'm six foot eight. When I sit on this machine, I feel like I've got a lot of room in here. It feels really good to me. It sits up a little bit higher so I can see different things around it. I also really like the system here for the deck lift mechanism. When you press this, it can just go right to a lock position because it's got a spring loaded piece and you can drop and select whatever you want as far as the height goes on there. Fuel tanks on the left and right side, you can switch between the tanks. That's really nice. Toro's actually set up super similar. You have a system on here. Normally, you're going to press a pedal and you can lock this in based on quarter inch increments. This one is different because it has an electric lift actuator on it. So on this exact Toro that I've got here, you can actually press this up and it'll lift that deck up. And then if you press it uh, down or just let go of it, it will drop into place, which is really slick. Briggs and Stratton owns Ferris. Briggs and Stratton owns Ferris, Simplicity, Snapper. Every single one of those brands, I really like them because they all run the exact same chassis. I made a video that it was Toro versus Xmark or the truth about Xmark. Toro owns Xmark. So when you get into the Toro 5 and 6000 series, you'll see they are absolutely identical to the Xmark Laser Z. So that's really true for Ferris. And you'll see this kind of umbrella of companies that are made in the same factory initially. And that's no different for Ferris. Ferris and Simplicity do that. The difference with a Ferris and a Simplicity is you have a rubber flap on the back of the Ferris that's gonna help lay those stripes. A Simplicity is known for having a roll bar. So before I get talking about Ferris more than I already have, if you compare this mower over to the Ferris, you have a completely different suspension system on here. So minimally, if you're gonna get a two or 4,000 series, you're gonna get a suspension seat. But if you're going to compare the suspension to this, to the Ferris, the Ferris is gonna win hands down 
all day long. You can get a suspension seat on a Ferris and then you get the shock, it's super comfortable. Now, if you compare the Ferris to this, this MyRide suspension, that's when you're going to be really rivaling as far as which one is more comfortable. So you'll notice there's not a suspension seat, but you do have this whole suspension platform and that's really nice from Toro. It does it a different way and it depends on who you are as far as the comfort goes. The Ferris, the way that it feels when you're on a Ferris, you come into a stop and you feel kind of a forward and then backwards motion. It's a little bit this way. Well, with the MyRide system, you're gonna notice, and I've mentioned this in other videos, this recliner type feel. It's a little bit on a tipping point. There's some people that'll complain that your connection to the mower, you feel slightly disconnected from that. I at home have a Toro, I have a MyRide, I feel very well connected to it. If you're getting really crazy on the bumps and all that, then I can understand that feeling, okay? Now, here's to me what you're gonna go back and forth on with a Ferris and with the Toro, because again, if you don't have this, maybe you got a suspension seat, there, there's all different ways to do it. The complaint or the downside on the Ferris side is that deck is disconnected from this piece and it actually, when you come into a stop, you're gonna see the deck come down a little bit and then come back up. And what that does is it can scalp into the lawn just a little bit. I mean, you can make an argument, like I said, that it's a little bit more comfortable, but it can scalp your lawn. Now, that feeling, that side to side feeling, absorption, and the up and down at the same time, it's a really nice feeling. It's super comfortable, there is no doubt about it. Well, the thing I do like about Toro in comparison is, yes, you kind of have this rock type feeling, but this deck is fixed to this frame. This frame is fixed. So the deck is not gonna have that scalping issue to it. Cause you can also control what I'm saying on the Ferris. You can slow down to a stop and kind of avoid that scalping issue that I'm talking about. This has Hydro Gear ZT4400 transmission. This has Hydro Gear ZT4400 transmission. That's the speed of the lawnmower. That's the longevity of the transmission. That's power up hills, all those things. So apples to apples, you're getting really similar machines. And I'll tell you, sit on these drive these around a little bit and you can decide which one you like the feel of more because ultimately that's what it comes down to. I think the fit and finish is gonna be really good on both of these machines. A little bit of a nod to the Toro side is they throw the gas tank under the bottom side of this. Toros are known for holding hills really well. Part of what helps with that is having a lower center of gravity versus you have the gas tanks on the side which is gonna raise up some of that weight. So then to go down to the decks for each of these machines, and as I keep lowering down, you'll see that this model has an LED light. That's a really slick feature. I'm sure with a lot of Ferrises, you could get features like that. Toro has this new I-beam construction that is really stout looking on their two and 4,000 series mowers. Also what is new is their deck. They still are calling this the Turbo Force deck, but you'll notice a little bit of a different profile to the end of this. The way their decks used to look and the way they still look for the five and 6,000 has this pronounced bull-nosed edge. It's those under components that Toro is gonna tell you gives that phenomenal quality of cut. And if you go over to a Ferris, again, I don't know the engineering and what the underside of this deck looks like. This ICD deck has been around for a long time. Really stout, really nice deck as well. Little things as you go around the machine. This has a couple of bolts that you can loosen and you can pull off. Greasable pieces right here. Some of you guys love that, being able to uh, service your mower, keep it up to snuff. Well, Toro is really doing things quite a bit different now. A lot of the things are not quite as serviceable. They're self-containing it and they think that that's better. Even up to the really, really expensive mowers, you're gonna find a lot of sealed pieces, sealed bearings, all those sorts of things. So kind of keep that in mind. I do like on the Toro side, this is really easy to remove and clean out your spindle. So you're done. You can pull this out, you can blow out the grass. But if you go over to the Ferris side, even without pulling these pieces off right here, still leave you a little bit of room that you could still blow and clean that out. So, you know, tire sizes being similar. And, and again, we're just, we're looking at a couple models within Toro, within the Ferris side, and it's really gonna depend on what level you go to. But to me, what you wanna look at, if you're thinking Ferris, you're probably thinking that way because of that supreme suspension system that they have, and there's no doubt. If you want that elite level 
of suspension, then maybe you would consider going over to a Toro with that my ride. And lastly, just going back and forth between the mowers, the accessibility, how easy is it to work on all those sorts of things? You can easily spin this off, grab access to the deck on a Ferris. You have this premium suspension, but you still have phenomenal accessibility, which is great on a Ferris. You can get to your things like the dampeners. You can get to the hydraulics, the batteries right there. The solenoid on this is connected to the motor. You know, it all depends. But you have a ton of accessibility to be able to work on if a sensor goes bad, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you go over to the Toro side, one thing you lose a little bit when you get the my ride is some of the accessibility. Well, first of all, under the deck, you still have accessibility. This actually flips up and you can get in here and access to the spindles. Um, moving back, they're gonna put more of the things you need to access right back here near the engine. You still got the battery there, your, your solenoid um, connected. Now you can't flip up the seat. Very rarely gonna have to access that tank. And what you can do is access any of those electrical components, but we've already, you know, just on some of these, it is a bit of a bear to kind of get in here and work on some of those different things. There's a few things as far as sensors and other things like that that are a little bit harder to get to on this exact model Toro, you know, whether it be a 2000 or 4000 series. So it definitely gave you guys a lot to think about the comparison, you know, one versus the other. Ultimately, what I always finish by saying in videos like this is, you're gonna get a good product either way. Who is the dealer that is supporting you, especially if you are a commercial guy? Go with Ferris if your dealer is way better. Go with Toro if your Toro dealer is way better. They're both really good mowers. Hope that that helps you guys. Tune in, subscribe, and we will get you more videos just like this.